Today we're going to tie an olive zonker. Start a quarter of the way up the shank, making wraps with your wire. Once you've covered up half the shank, you can break off the tab ends. You can use the helicopter trick to snap off your wire, or use an old pair of scissors to snip it off. Taking the green tubing, you are going to pinch and pull using your fingernails. This will fray the end of it. Once your tubing is prepared, you are simply going to slide it over the shank. Then you are going to measure out the length and cut the end of it off. Then slide it back. Now you're ready to start your thread base, just behind the eye of the hook. After cutting the tag end, you're going to make two loose thread wraps around your tubing. Then pull tight, followed by a few more wraps to help lock it in place. Cut the end of the rabbit strip into a point. Now tie in your rabbit strip. By cutting the end of the zonker, we cut down on the size of our tying point, creating a neater fly. Sometimes a little prep work can go a long way. Now we're going to strip away some of this unwanted fluff exposing the stem of our saddle hackle. Now we're going to tie in our saddle hackle. Make a couple wraps and then cut the stem away. Then make a few more wraps covering that cut end. Attach your hackle pliers to the tip of the feather. Then you can make connecting wraps towards the eye of the hook. Now you can tie in your hackle. I like to pull back on the previously palmered in hackle while I do this step. Now you can trim your tag end off. I like to build up a little bit of a thread dam in front of the hackle. Then you're ready to throw in a whip finish and cut your thread. Now we're going to pull the zonker strip up over the eye to get it out of the way. Now we're going to create a thread base around your tubing to tie in the back section of the zonker. 
Because the tubing likes to move during this, I wrap my thread around my pointer finger. This helps me keep tension during this step. To make sure my thread base doesn't come undone, I wrap the tag end around the thread, similar to tying in a new section of material. Then you can cut your tag end. I also like to add a little bit of UV resin to this thread base. After hitting it with the light, you can fold your zonker strip back down over the shank. Now we have to part the fur on the zonker strip where it will be tied in. I like to dampen my fingertips. This will act as a temporary hair gel. Once you've parted the fur and exposed the hide, you can tie it in the tail section of the zonker. Once you've finished tying in the tail section, you can throw in a whip finish. We still have to cut the tail to length. To do so, we are going to part the fur like we did before, but this time we are going to cut the hide instead of tying it in. Apply a small amount of UV cure to the threads next to the bend of the hook but be careful not to get any on the zonker strip. Hit it with the light quickly before moving on to the threads around the eye of the hook. Pull back the hackle before applying the UV cure. Apply a good coat all the way around. Then thoroughly cure it with your UV light. And there you have it. How to tie a simple zonker.